the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 230, 1 Chronicles 23-26 The genealogy of those who held positions during David's rule. David, who appointed Solomon as the next king, appointed the people who would work in the temple of God for the permanent development of the country. First point, David brought together 38,000 Levites and allocated their laws in the temple. When David grew old, he passed on his position as king to his son Solomon, and then went on to organize the logistics for the temple. The number of Levites over the age of 30 at this time was 38,000. There were 24,000 workers in the temple, 6,000 officials and judges, 4,000 gatekeepers, and 4,000 musicians. Once the temple was built, the Levites were to take on these responsibilities. Solomon managed to maintain David's system after David's death. After many years, the temple became burnt down and then restored again through Nehemiah and Ezra. Before giving the 38,000 Levites their new jobs, the history of the priests were told. These were the divisions of the descendants of Aaron. The sons of Aaron were Nadab, Abihu, Eliezer, and Itama. But Nadab and Abihu died before their father did, and they had no sons. So Eliezer and Itama served as the priestess. Aaron's line was selected to become priestess. Thus, Aaron and his four sons took on this role. But Aaron's two sons, Nadab and Abihu, were killed by God. So the remaining two sons took their place. David once again appointed the descendants of Aaron to become priests. Second point, the Levites who were chosen to work in God's temple were the Gershonites, Koasites, and the Merarites and they were divided into 24 groups to carry out separate roles in the temple. Among the 38,000 Levites, David appointed 24,000 of the descendants of Goshen, Koath, and Merari to look after the temple of God. The division David made for the 24,000 were divided into 24 and 10 groups were made up of the descendants of Goshen, nine groups from the descendants of Koath, and five groups from Merari. The descendants of Koath in particular had to furthermore help out in the offerings, worshiping God and also blessing the people. The 24 divisions made by David were to help out the descendants of Aaron in doing the works involved in the temple. They were also in charge of the bread set out on the table and the food a special flour for the grain offerings. They were also in charge of the music as well as distinguishing the offerings. As such, they were given roles to help out in the temple. Third point, some members of the Levites were appointed as members of the choir by the casting lot message. Among the 38,000 Levites, 4,000 were put aside for music and singing. David organized the musicians into three groups and then divided into 24 groups. Firstly, Asab served as one of the three associates and at the right hand of Heman. Asab wrote numerous psalms of praise, some being Psalms 50 and 73 through to 83. When they returned the captives from Babylon, set out to restore the temple. The descendants of Asa praised God. As for Heman, he was also one of the three musicians. 
Jedutun was also one of the three musicians, and these are the psalms associated with him. Psalms 39, 62, and 77. All these men were under the supervision of their father for the music, of the temple of the Lord with the cymbals, lyres, and harps for the ministry at the house of God. Asap, Jedutun, and Heman were under the supervision of the king. Along with their relatives, all of them trained and skilled in music for the Lord. They numbered 288. The musicians were especially selected, meaning that one could not just decide to become a musician. We can see just how much effort they put into the preparations for the temple. First point. The gatekeepers of the temple were also selected by the casting lot method. The workers for the temple were divided into 24 groups. Something that stands out is that among the 24 groups, seven were given to the descendants of Korah. Korah died after opposing against Moses, but his descendants lived to fulfill the role of musicians in the temple. The descendants of Korah even left a psalm of praise. The descendants of Obed-Edom also became the gatekeepers of the temple. David selected the gatekeepers using the casting lot methods, as he did with all the other positions according to a kingdom of priests. The gatekeepers became one of the divisions out of the 24 and served in the temple. The new temple needed the people to guard the gates, as these places stored the Israelites' tithes, offerings, and war tributes. Fifth point, to the remaining Levites, David appointed them roles of treasurers and other officials. Out of the 38,000 Levites, David appointed 24,000 workers, 4,000 musicians, and 4,000 gatekeepers, and the remaining 6,000 were appointed as officials and judges. As for the 1,700 who were left, they were to go to the west of the Jordan. The other 2,700 were to go to the east of the Jordan and work there. This Tongdok app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference, and when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible, and he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story, and then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.